Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I've made a video uh, about my car. Um, I've been I've been trying to keep busy with it. Uh, I don't want to lose interest. <laughs> don't worry, I haven't. Um, so last time I made a video, uh, this spot still had paint on it, still had body filler on it, and <clears throat> it's actually completely completely stripped down, uh, except for you know a little few spots here and there that I really I have to get a Dremel to get to it because it's too thick or it's, the corners are too small. Um, these are the holes that I that I do have to patch up. Now the one thing about these holes they actually go all the way through so I, I do have to get them filled. Um, there is there the other the spots on the other side there actually is rust on it. Um, but these were all covered in body filler and I do not want to put body filler back onto here. Um, so I got that part done, um, I got the roof done here, uh, yeah, except for this spot here, which that's, you know, that'll take, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Um, doing all of this, I used, uh, aircraft stripper, uh, the aircraft stripper, you know, it, it's good to leave it on and let it sit, and then you, I actually scraped it off first and wiped it, um, after I wiped it, I actually have a I have an air sander that I I picked up. Now the air sander, you know, it 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 works really well as long as you know you don't press down and you just don't mess up the sandpaper too quickly. Um, but uh, one example, you know, the aircraft stripper, you know, even though this is dry, um, it it will it'll bubble up like this and then I'll actually wipe it with a rag first to get all the stripper off the area then I'll take the sander to it if you just put you know the sander on the aircraft stripper it'll actually you know start to melt away all of the all of the sand you know off your paper so it'll ruin that and then you know you kind of just messed up you know paper for nothing <clears throat> so I do have all these body panels I do try to just slap it on uh, and let it sit, and I just scrape it off, um, and then, you know, when once it's scraped off, then I wipe it. Um, this is the door that I have almost done. I just have to get the top part, and then I have to scuff up the back of the door, uh, the inner the inner portion of the door, and then, you know, paint can, it can be painted. Um, other than that, everything looks good. You know, these are this is my front balance. Uh, these actually I have. Um, let me find the right one. It might be this one here. There's actually a big dent, so I gotta actually straighten that out. Um, but all of the the paint is off of it. Um, you know, the the lights. <laughs> these these are definitely you know since there's a lot of grooves in it, you really have to either let it sit and and take your time at scraping it or uh, blast it or you know just you know get the sander and, and definitely go at it maybe get a 3M pad um, but you know that one is going to be the tough one just because of the, the edging um, I did remove the hatch sill plate you know most guys they, I've seen they just they just cut this away here and they just you know weld in a new spot but you know I knew there was going to be you know rust underneath it and since this was patched up with silicone and body filler, you know, I, I you know, I wanted to get rid of this piece because I did find a online site they they do sell replacement, you know, plates. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. Um, what I did was I just drilled out the spot welds, um, and you can see all of them right there. Uh, after I drilled it out, I actually I have a little pry bar and I just slowly pried it away. You know, after drilling uh, out all the welds, and you know it it works. I, you know, I I did get a little bending and all of these. You know, all of this is surface rust here, and I just have to take a grind wheel to that spot and that spot. Um, but other than that, uh, I, you know, I can just order my new piece. Um, I did buy a welder, and this welder does, uh, it actually does hook up to gas, so I'm going to actually, uh, it comes with a wire, um, it actually comes with a gas line, 
Um, I bought this at Home Depot. It was it was around five hundred. Uh, I think after tax, maybe five hundred sixty, five hundred seventy dollars. So it was a big purchase, you know, of, of the chunk of money that you know it goes to to obviously restoring the car. Um, and what else have I been doing here? I did pick up a uh, a head for my block. This is an E thirty one block. Now. You know this this block should have came with an E31 head, but the uh, the previous owner who had this in uh, whatever state it was, New Mexico, something probably happened. It looked like it might have like uh, it might have hit a valve and uh, from the dent I found on the piston, and it bent and he probably got rid of it. So he threw on an E88 head. That's the E88 head right there that actually came on to it. Um, I became a little bit of a Datsun hoarder, so, you know, I also picked up a P79 head, uh, I disassembled it, you know, I picked up a Maxima N47 head, uh, I picked up <laughs> my uh, uh, N42 head, that's just a stock cam, that's also the stock cam on, on the E88, uh, I got my transmission, and that's just sitting there. Uh, my E31 head's at the shop right now getting cleaned, blasted, and uh, I am I think I might have to get new uh, valve seats since I believe the original ones might have been, um, I believe the original ones were probably bronze. So, uh, probably going to get those, uh, I think they have stainless steel. Someone suggested to me I get titanium, so <laughs> we'll see. I don't know how much that costs. I know it's big chunk of chain since they have to heat up the entire head and then they have to drop the, the new valve seats and po possibly make the valve seats. Um, these are like holes, spots. I have no idea how all these holes could have gotten here, but, you know, it's something. Uh, I did notice, you know, if, if you notice right here, you know, it's it's fairly smooth. Even though it looks like it's not, it's, it's really smooth. That's from the, me uh, using uh, the 80 grit and the 120 grit sandpaper. I did have someone suggest to me use a wire wheel. Now, if you use a wire wheel, you'll get <laughs> something like this. And I did not do this. This was actually under the body filler. Using a wire wheel, you probably could uh, cut a hole actually right through this this steel. I think this is 18 gauge steel. Um, so I didn't want to use a wire wheel on that. The 3M pad works really well. Um, a lot of all of this stuff right here. You know, I, I used I used a 3M pad to actually get in here and to actually get over here. So I I would really suggest getting one of those and then also using a Dremel. You know, this right here I'm gonna have to take a little uh, a grind a grinding bit with a Dremel. Um, most likely going to t use this uh, leftover this other air crash stripper I have here I bought at Home Depot and wipe out all the old sound deadener that's on there. So when I do paint it, the car, you know, I'm not going to get this this texture of the of these circular um, chips from when I was chipping it off. Uh, what else? Anything else? Uh, I got the hood all set. Just have to sand it and get a little bit rough patch it or rough it up to for the body filler. Um, what else can I do here? Um, not. Everything else is going pretty smooth. Hey, turds. What's up, turd? This is Chuck and Larry. They hang out with me when I when I work on the car. Um. Oh yeah, I got. I have this piece now, and I have to just weld on this piece. Um, for replacing that, got to cut it off, and then you know fit those on. Uh, that's that's my next. That's the next part of the project once I once I finish painting. I am since I'm sort of a friend's helping me learn how to weld and I don't want to mess it up. I'm really practicing. <laughs> I uh, actually you know if you never learn how to weld it's not it's not that easy, but you know I definitely tried um, welding here. Now I didn't do all. So this I did not do this one. This one was actually my friend did. It was pretty good. I did this one that's underneath all the spatter right here. That was my only good one. I, I 
started this one and then it burnt all the way through. It was definitely not easy since this, you know, this steel is so thin. Um, you know, I even tried right over here. Um, it, and I don't know if you can see the height of it. Focus a little bit. You know, you you don't want to make it too high, but um, I even tried welding this in yesterday, um, and I and I only I only let it sit there, and then I just tapped it. Um, I got a spare block there. I'm I'm actually gonna turn that into a table because, God, look how rusty that is. That is so rusty. Um, all right, and. Let's turn this around here. Hopefully well, you can see this. I, uh, I bought a patch for my jacket. Um, and I actually had... Actually, it's on this side here. I got a Dotson patch there on that. And I put this on a... Uh, put this on a, a Puma motorsport jacket. And hopefully if you can see the back. Oh, that's going to be a bad photo. I got a Hybrid Z patch back there. But I am going to make... I'm probably going to make another jacket. I got it all dusty from uh, walking around here. But uh, I actually like it. I've always wanted a, a track jacket, and they don't really sell a lot of dot, dots and jackets that look good and that are not windbreaker material or that cheapo NASCAR crappy-looking fake leather jacket. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um... If you guys have any questions, uh, I'm probably going to try to make a video on my, my steps on how I got this so smooth. Uh, I'll show you guys on, on the fenders there um, and even on the door. Uh, anything else? If you guys want me to, you know, need me to show you anything else that I'm going to be doing, uh, just let me know. You can send me a message. Uh, Hybrid Z, it's Alex731, or um, YouTube name is Perfect240Z. Um, oh yeah, and uh, I still, was really still trying to get get my wife to uh, to help me out on this. And if you guys let me know what you think, hopefully I, I can get it accomplished. When I get the interior, you know, back in after paint, my um, my goal, and this is a huge goal, Instead of, and I'll show you what I did. To, these are all of the the door panels, all of the uh, you know the interior with even. This is actually the the firewall. I don't. I don't I'm not going to count that. Um, but I'm really trying. I saved these so I can hopefully get my wife to help me get a uh, uh, basically put together a suede or alcon. Alcantara t interior. Um, I really want a GT look in this car, and I think that that supple, soft. I'm either I, I'm really gonna try to find you know suede or Alcantara or something similar to it, and I'm I'm really trying to get in there. I want I want the soft look. I am gonna put some. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use Dynamat or not, uh, but I really want it to. I wanna. I want to make the, you know, I want to make the inside quieter than than it originally is. So hopefully, hopefully I can get that get that together. Hopefully she's on board. Uh, I really I really want her to be on board. With that that would be that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention uh, right here. You know, this is obviously where you know the rain gutters go. Um, I am gonna you know I'm gonna patch right here because you I don't know if you can see. But it actually uh, it wiggles a little bit, and you know I don't know if you if you guys can tell on your cars, uh, but on my on the bottom side you can see, you know that's where all the rust is. And I'm gonna have to grind that away, and uh, you know hopefully I can I can repair that. Like I said, since I'm doing this for the very first time, I'm just doing a lot of reading and watching you know some videos. Uh, overhaul in that's a good one. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up. All right, bye.